Today is February 11th, 2019. My video today is called DHS, Military Surplus, and the Law. And while I would love to put together a presentation with the articles and information that supports this, at this point you will have to look it up either on Google or go to my discussion page and look through many pages to find which articles I am referencing. DHS. There are articles, one particular came from the Baltimore Sun. The military surplus that they have, not all of it is legal, and not all of its uses are legal. And when they've tried to bring that illegal weapons, those illegal weapons, or their illegal tactics, into a courtroom, judges have told them if it's not legal, they can't bring it in. Now, what is going on is they've found a way to use it. Not exactly new. Not anything they haven't done before when they want to pull something over on others. But they use it by not bringing it into court. By not making it a reference in a court of law. If they don't bring it into court, they don't use it as part of the court case, thereby it, it doesn't exist, but they are still using it. They're just not telling anybody, or they're hiding it. DHS, Department of Homeland Security, and its 22 coordinating agencies are using illegal military surplus in illegal manners, which every one knows as crimes by any other means. And the courts have told them they cannot bring in that stuff when it's illegal. So in order to avoid that, they aren't. Um, now they can attack people with biological and neurological signal warfare. So they're disabled or discredited and can't, which is what they've been doing, which is an intelligent agency tactic, FBI. But this, this situation going on across the United States in particular, while it's darn well global, I'm going to reference the United States because this is where I live. I live right now, currently, I'm back in Baltimore County, West Baltimore, Catonsville area, Maryland. But what I want to point out is DHS and their 22 coordinating en entities which includes FEMA, please look it up, are using illegal military surplus that they obtained through the Department of Homeland Security. And in order to avoid conflicts with the law, they're not bringing it up in courtrooms. At this point, there are targeted individuals who have had to seek medical attention. They've had to go to hospitals from combat military torture being applied with sonic weapons. We have neurological weapons, sonic weapons. We have electronic disablers to our vehicles, our appliances. They're infiltrating accounts and internet online. There is no part of a human life that is not being assaulted on these people they are targeting with this military surplus. But this targeting with the military surplus is 100% illegal with illegal weapons and illegal combat military tactics. And like I said, I know one article off the top of my head it was written in a Baltimore Sun where a judge told them if they're using that military surplus that's illegal, they can't bring it in. I'm sure there are many others because that was years ago. That's all for the moment.